one of the most important issues that we're confronting is the Colombians grapple with this 60-year-old uh, insurgency, uh, Marxist-Leninist group that hasn't denounced, uh, renounced the uh, armed conflict, but has not renounced its Marxist-Leninist objectives. Uh, how do we, uh, how can we best assist them in that process? Uh, as we endeavor not to just save the peace process, but frankly to save Colombia from this criminality. Well, I mean, first and foremost, we recognize that Colombia is a republic, a democracy. Its leaders are elected, and its leaders are responsive to the people of Colombia. As their partner, I think it's our obligation to make them understand that we are prepared to continue to contribute to these efforts, which, you know, took a nation that was on the verge of, of collapse, of a, being a failed state, and brought it to a point of relative prosperity and security for a significant period of time. And I think we're prepared to continue to endeavor to help in that regard. What, what I don't think we can allow uh, and this is an American senator, someone who needs to answer the people of Florida and of the country about how their taxpayer money is being spent, is that any of those funds would be used to somehow unfairly benefit the FARC. Uh, for example, uh, not seeing, you know, we want to make sure that our funds are being used for things like ensuring that victims, that the uh, systems are set up so victims are compensated, and not through American funds, but through the FARC funds. Mm -hmm. We want to make sure that there isn't the creation of these courts whereby the people who partnered with us to confront these groups are now being unfairly put on trial and treated like criminals themselves. And we certainly want to make sure that none of the funds of the American taxpayer winds up in the hands of a group that we still designate as a terrorist group. Mm -hmm. And many of those leaders are still wanted uh, for extradition, I think upwards of 60, uh, for crimes committed against the United States and against our citizens. So I think as long as we're fair and frank and direct and to the point, we'll have an opportunity to work with the Santos administration and with wh wh whatever succeeds this administration in Colombia. In the absence of that, I think, unfortunately, um, if in fact our dollars are not producing results, there could be real challenges to continuing our partnership in this regard. And, uh, and I think, the, the, so the, to me, this is not just about preserving our relationship. It's about ensuring that we're getting results from it that we can justify to the American taxpayer at a time when there is an effort to reduce U.S. foreign engagement in the world, both direct and indirect. Mm -hmm.